Appomattox Appointment, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave the nightlight on for that nightlight is out of Psalms 46 and verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. They say that the Battle of Bull Run was the first major battle fought in the American Civil War. There would end up being two battles of Bull Run, but usually the references are to the very first one. Uh, There was a man named Wilmer McLean who lived close to Manassas where the battle was fought. In fact, shortly after the battle, he bought a part of the battlefield from the Carter family. Later, he decided he wanted to settle somewhere more peaceful, so he moved 100 miles south to Appomattox County. Several years after moving there in April of 1865, a Confederate messenger, unaware of McLean's prior quote-unquote involvement in the war, knocked on the door, McLean's new home, and asked if Robert E. Lee might use the house in the following day to meet with Ulysses S. Grant to sign a formal surrender. McLean reluctantly agreed. Sometime later, Wilmer, Wilmer McLean is supposed to have said, the war began in my front yard and ended in my front parlor. I want to talk to you about the civil war you've been fighting in your own spirit. Like McLean, uh, we sometimes try to escape the inner battles that are going on in us by running away from God in areas in our life where we struggle to, struggle to surrender control to him. We put up a fight. We resist. We battle. Uh, we try to exert our will, do things our own way. But just as that war ends up following us wherever we run, God patiently pursues us down the corridors of time to achieve control in our life, not because he's some kind of a tyrant, but because he knows how our life will work best. If he's the one that created us and the one that's designed a home in heaven for us, he knows how to make our life work the way that it's supposed to. We should return to the owner to find out proper instructions before leaving earth. So no matter how far you've run, we can't escape the Lord. He wants to free us from the heavy burdens of sin and self-rule, like Lee surrendering to Grant in McLean's parlor. We need to surrender our prideful hearts to our loving Father. When we stop struggling and let God take his rightful place on the throne of our lives, we'll find comfort in the freedom that we have been searching for all along. This is why God is waiting for us with open arms. The battle rages on only if we continue waging war in those areas God wants to rule. But when we wave the white flag and submit to the King of Kings, the struggle ceases and we can be still in his presence and know the peace and purpose that comes with complete surrender. Let's pray. Mighty Father God, help us to surrender every area of our life to you. Help this internal civil war to be over and for us to experience your loving presence and peace, your incredible guidance and wisdom, your strength and power, your wisdom and insight into our lives. Lord, you want to bring the very best into our lives, but we have been living ragged, Uh, as ragged rebels uh, running from you instead of running to you. Forgive us for that. In Jesus' name, amen.